Hey, thanks much, uh, Deepak, for the kind words about the panel and myself. Uh, fantastic to have uh, such bright minds uh, around me this morning, which is not usually the case uh, on Saturday morning. Probably this is the time I try and wake up uh, recovering from the overnight beer dump. Uh, but uh, that apart, I want to kick off uh, saying uh, that uh, the father of disruption theory, uh, Clayton Christensen, uh, has uh, said exactly what you said, right? Disruption takes time. And incumbents are generally ignorant because it's taking time. Uh, they lose sight of it and eventually it comes and hits them. Uh, that's typically disruption theory. Uh, Clayton is a god of disruption. He recently passed away. Uh, but I learned a lot uh, in my journey here. Uh, as discussed, uh, uh, panelists will keep it open, honest, and fire start. I will not try and pass the ball from one to another. Please jump and express yourself. Uh, and uh, my first, first one I want to open is that because uh, Rahul is the singer and also has uh, moonshots. I, I want to twist the topics given by uh, Deepak and Hari to me saying that, are we a moonshot nation? And if we are a moonshot nation, uh, if we are not a moonshot nation, what are the uh, missing pieces of the puzzle uh, I want to see who goes first. Really, I can jump in. Uh, is is my audio okay? Perfect. Yeah. Great. So, you know, again, this was a long conversation with my editor on the book name. And the book name was earlier supposed to be something like, like Mr. Moneybags or something which I totally disliked. And I wanted to shift the focus to, you know, what are the, what are the uh, odds of doing uh, anything innovative uh, and you know the derivation really is from the fact that you're trying to uh, take a wild shot with very low probability of success um, and I think anything disruptive uh, always comes with that uh, challenge of not knowing what is the likely outcome uh, and the harder it gets the more of a moonshot it becomes so the um, you know I think the, the choice of the of the name applied to India and to our ecosystem, um, you know, we are um, working in a nation where, till a few years back, we had you know basic access issues, uh, bandwidth issues, uh, technology stacks were missing, people skills were missing, uh, and of course markets were very unproven. So you know, I think the uh, ecosystem that we have moved into from three four years back, you know, mostly when the book was set, um, at least I feel. We are now in a, in a, looking at a canvas where we know a little bit more than what we did before uh, because things have appeared. Things have appeared because of disruptions at other places like you know, Android taking over uh, or Geo uh, introducing bandwidth at, at very low cost. So I think in, in from uh, uh, um, uh, innovators dilemma perspective, what is it, it that likely going to be the outcome um, you know, now I, I at least can see a, a map where I can uh, build something where my uh, building pieces are visible. Uh, three, four years back, my building pieces like, how do I even reach my, uh, you know, customers without having that digital disruption removed? And now a lot of things have changed. So I think uh, this is a good time to actually get into this chat with also the last uh, few months of uh, attention that India has been getting. Uh, with the with the banning of the Chinese apps, with the uh, valuation for geo and the and the money coming in, so I think we are looking at uh, a, a digital disruption uh, as a background for our uh, innovation conversation. Great, great. Thanks uh, for kicking off uh, with uh, such a, a brief but solid insight, Rahul.